Whether you're using a desktop or laptop, learning how to use a computer can be daunting, but don't worry, we've got your back. This lesson is here to help. From understanding the hardware components and how they work together to mastering the basics of operating systems and software programs, we'll cover all the basics you need to know about computers. Let's get started. Hardware basics. Computer hardware refers to the physical components that make up a computer system. Some of the basic components of a computer include the central processing unit or CPU, the brain of the computer, responsible for executing instructions and performing calculations. Memory, also known as RAM, temporary storage for data and applications currently in use by the CPU. Hard drive, which can be a HDD or an SSD. Permanent storage for data and applications even when the computer is turned off. Motherboard, the main circuit board that connects all the components of a computer. Graphics processing unit or GPU, a specialized chip responsible for rendering images and video. You can also get graphics cards for desktop computers that are much more powerful and have different specifications depending on what you want to use the computer for. Gaming computers use much more powerful graphics cards, for example. Power supply, provides power to the other components of the computer. Input devices, allows you to input data and commands into the computer such as a keyboard, mouse or touchpad. Output devices, display information to the user such as a monitor, speakers or printers. These components work together to perform the tasks that we use computers for such as browsing the internet, running applications and storing files. I know it's a lot to take in, but each component has a different function to fulfill and understanding the different elements will help you make a more informed choice when buying a computer. Operating system basics. An operating system is a set of instructions that controls how software programs are displayed and run on your computer. Popular operating systems include Windows, Mac OS, Linux, iOS and Android. Each operating system has its own user interface or graphical user interface known as a GUI. This determines how you interact with your computer's applications. Learning how to maneuver around an operating system is essential for anyone who wants to master computer skills. Operating systems age and stop being supported over time. We're currently using Windows 10 and 11, but older systems such as Windows 7 or Windows 8 are no longer supported. This means that your apps may not work as well and you're more open to being hacked because Microsoft is no longer creating security updates for these systems. Software basics. Finally, there are applications, more commonly known as software, which allow you to do specific tasks on your computer, such as writing documents, creating spreadsheets, or using the internet. Software can come pre-installed on some computers or be purchased separately from companies like Microsoft or Apple. Some software may even be free download from websites, although you do have to be careful as downloading from some sites is not legal as it breaches copyright laws and other sites will download malware along with what you want to download. Understanding how different types of software works will help you become more productive in using your computer for everyday tasks. Takeaway. These are just some basic guidelines for getting started with using a computer. With practice and patience, soon enough you'll have mastered all these steps and become an expert at using your own desktop or laptop in no time at all. Don't forget to keep exploring new features and applications. Learning never stops when it comes to technology. These three lessons have been an introduction to computers and the internet. In the next three lessons, we're moving into computers and internet basics. First stop, Computer Basics.